Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another gardening day. So today is a maintenance day. I try to do kind of all my big maintenance projects once a week. Um, so we are going to go through, fertilize um, all the roses because it's been two weeks since we fertilized the roses. I also have some annuals to fertilize. Um, all of my bubblegum, Super Tunia Vista bubblegum, my verbenas, um, and the marigolds. Um, I fertilized some of those, like the verbena, with the rose tone last time. And I think that was too much nitrogen. The roses like nitrogen, but the verbena that I did fertilize with the rose tone, one right back here. They have not flowered at all. They're just starting to bud up now. And my mom, I got four, she got four. She did not use rose tone and hers are flowering. So I'm going to switch those over to my annual fertilizer instead of the rose tone, um, which is more of just a bloom booster. And we are going to see if that helps. So we're gonna go ahead and, and fertilize those. And I'm planning to do a whole video just on fertilizing annuals because there is a few differences between what I do. Um, but today we're just gonna go ahead and get it done because I don't have time to do that video and this video. We'll do that next time. And then we're going to come through, like I said, deadhead the roses, deadhead um, the snapdragons, deadhead the marigolds. I still need to move these sweet peas before they get totally out of control. But we just have some, uh, some garden maintenance to do today. So that's what we're gonna start with. Looks like the mums need to be deadheaded again from last time. Let's just get to work. So mainly what I'm doing is I'm coming in and I'm taking off any of the blooms that are 100% gone. You can also deadhead things like this bloom that are pretty much all the way gone. And then we'll re-fertilize. And this will tell our little rose to send out more blooms. If you touch one and it falls apart, you know it's gone. That's pretty close. You can see two weeks ago, we deadheaded all this salvia back a third of the height. All new blooms coming in. If you're like me and you hate cutting the blooms off, just know it's better in the long run. Right, so when we're doing our roses, we're just coming in, looking for those dead pieces. An old rose used to be, cutting it off. Spider web on this one, yuck.
tonight. I'm gonna have to fix that. I have a, a pretty purple, purple or pink iris about to bloom. So excited. Whew. I have a bunch of little Xenia babies coming back up over here, so I'm trying not to step on them. I'm not sure stepping on other things like my light is preferable, but you know, which can. So when it comes to snapdragons, rounded pieces like these are fresh buds. Old buds have these little spikes coming out where the flowers used to be. And if you leave these, they will eventually turn into seed pods, but not quite time to let them go to seed, so. We're just going to keep cutting those old dub pieces off to make room for new flushes of blooms. But I've done all these when I first came through and deadheaded them. I did about half the first time and let half bloom. And then you get pretty nice thick blooms, but not all out of bloom at the same time. Weed. Let's this have deadheaded, get it fertilized. I am all dead. <laughs> all dead. That is also accurate. All done for the day. So as you saw, I went through, I deadheaded all my roses. That was kind of the main thing I really needed to do. I also needed to fertilize all my annuals. So the Cipertinia Vista bubblegum got hit. All of my, I want to say Lobularia, but I don't think that's the right name. All my little blue flowers got hit the marigolds, the verbena, so I'm really hoping in the next couple weeks that homestead verbena that I have for up there's one right here <laughs> will actually start flowering because right now they're just growing. They do have pretty green leaves, but no buds or only a couple buds. And like I said, my moms are going crazy. So 
I think they just did not like all the nitrogen and the rose tone that the roses like. I'm hoping they will like the annual fertilizer better. Um, thought they liked the rose tone because they're perennials, but I think they might just be too, they're, they're flowering heavy, so I think they need an annual flowering heavy food. So for example, these super Tumia Vista bubblegum, they get massive, they flower, you do not have to deadhead them, but if they perform like crazy, you need to feed them like crazy. So I do any, I do fertilize them every two weeks at the very least. Um, you may not need to do as much, you may need to do more. You're supposed to do it every third uh, watering. For me in the south, that would be every four days. So there you go. I will give you a quick peek at everything we did and then we are gonna go take a break, huh Betty? Cause we are hot and sweaty and tired and our words are failing us. So I think in the next week, I'm going to be doing my beginning of May garden tour. So if you wanna see how this has held up, check that out. See you later, bye. Let's show them what we did, Betty. <laughs> Here's my one homestead purple verbena with a bud. Let's hope we get some flowers. Bye y'all.